Hello, my name is Terry Dean Nemers, and on July 6, 2011, and again on September 7, 2011, I was maliciously arrested by the lawless thugs down here in the lawless Pope County Sheriff's Department. And now I'm being maliciously prosecuted by the lawless Pope County attorney for uh, engaging in the legal acts of filing and filming a criminal complaint and for handing out legal information uh, to elected officials. All right. Now, today is October, 30, or October uh, 24th, 2011, and I'm going to give you a little bit of an update what's been going on. I want to remind you that on Monday, October 31st, 2011, that there's going to be a hearing at the Lawless Pope County, uh, there's going to be a kangaroo court hearing at the Lawless Pope County Courthouse, and that's going to be at 2.30 p.m. on October 31st, 2.30 p.m., all right, Law, uh, the Lawless Pope County Courthouse in Lawless, Glenwood, Minnesota. All right, just to remind you of that. Also, some other things been going on. Of course, I still have not received all my exculpatory evidence from both my malicious prosecutions, my either one of my malicious arrests. I still am missing the evidence that proves that I'm innocent. And Neil the Tamper and Nelson knows what he's what he's holding on to, and he knows what uh, that he hasn't given me, but he still refuses to uh, cough it up. All right. Also, um, what's happened just recently is, uh, again, I've had uh, Christopher King, uh, he has the KingCast65 YouTube account. Also, he has the um, free speech site at, uh, at uh, kingcast.net. And he's just put up a new video here just uh, the other day. Well, actually, it was he, he made it on, uh, on Friday when he called Neil the Tamper in Nelson's office there. And uh, now he just posted it today. And you'll see the phone call where Neil, the, uh, Neil uh, where uh, Christopher King tries to get a hold of Neil. Remember, Neil's been on um, KSAX News numerous times in the last, uh, since I've been maliciously arrested. All right, He's been in image repair mode because of the numerous scandals that have been popping up. And these posters are all at my website, linenews00.blogspot.com, if you want to look at them, get a closer view. He's been uh, sending my legal mail, obviously, to Minneapolis before, or mailing in Minneapolis, so it doesn't get here to me on time. All right? So, obviously, he's had to get on KSEX TV and try to repair his image, you know, try to pretend like he's the honest guy when we know he's crooked as a dog's hind leg, right? Okay. So, uh, what uh, Christopher King did in his video which is called uh, The Missing Terry Dean Nemers Search Warrant, Part 1, and I'm going to show you a link to, or show you how to get to that video. And he calls up the Lawless Polk County Attorney's Office, trying to get a hold of Neil the Tamper and Nelson there. But for some reason, you know, Neil doesn't want to talk to him, remember? Because uh, Chris always wants to talk about these scandals that uh, Neil's involved with. Like this one where he was notified that... Uh, Helen Staffschult, that's Judge John Staffschult's wife, assaulted me with, uh, at uh, Waterama in 2010. See, he covered that up before the election because he didn't want to lose the election. See, so all these little scandals are coming to light. And this one, what uh, Chris was calling about, was the scandal involving uh, now Sheriff Timmy Riley, Timmy the perjurer Riley, who claimed that they had a warrant to come busting in my house on in uh, 2007. All right? You know what? I still don't have that warrant. Where Timmy, can you send it to me? Maybe you can send it special delivery, you know, via Minneapolis, huh? Put it in uh, Neil the Tamper and Nelson's special delivery, right? But anyhow, this kind of comes at a bad time for, for Timmy here because he just had an open house on Thursday of last week, and then... And then uh, Christopher King calls up on Friday, you know, and kind of bursts their little bubble there. Because, you know, they're kind of thinking, oh, we're pretty special now that we, we christen, christened our new uh, expansion at the Sheriff's Department, the lawless Polk County Sheriff's Department. But uh, it's going to be kind of tainted now that all these little uh, scandals are popping up and refuse to go away. 
like breaking into people's house without a warrant, you know, the covering up the fact that the judge's wife assaulted me at Waterama, you know, those little details. The fact that criminal charges have been filed against the former sheriff, Tommy, the perjurer, Larson, and that, uh, and that uh, criminal charges have been filed, criminal defamation charges have been filed against former, or well, actually he was a county commissioner at the time, Randy Shaw, you know, Randy the slanderer Shaw says I'm some sort of nutcase, and Tommy goes around saying that I'm handing out propaganda. See, and the, the problem is, Tommy must have got that word from the malicious prosecution in 2009, when they're saying that uh, I was allegedly handing out propaganda in the courthouse and tried to hand it to who? Judge John Staffschild. Yeah. Of course, that means that Judge John Staffschild was a material witness there, and, jeez, they didn't take any witness statements from him, did they? Oh, that's right. Neil dropped those charges during trial, didn't he? But then, when I was maliciously convicted, I had two convictions. How did that one work? Oh, that's right. It's lawless Pope County, right? See, because even though... It, Neil dropped the charges, they secretly brought them back, and that's why my mail was tampered with up in the Douglas County Jail, delayed and tampered with, so I wouldn't get it in time. Yeah. Is that what the situation is? Yeah. All these little, little details, huh? So that's why you can see that... That's why you can see that uh, Neil has been in uh, image repair mode numerous times, all right, since I've been maliciously arrested. All right, and it's because Neil's a crook. See, you know, like in this case, if Neil actually had a case against me, he'd plop all the evidence down right in front of me and say, here you go, eat it. But see, Neil doesn't want to do that. Neil's hiding the evidence. Neil's suppressing the evidence. Neil's destroying evidence, isn't he? See, because he doesn't have a case. It's a malicious prosecution. See, so when you get someone like Christopher King that calls up and starts asking embarrassing questions about scandalous things, Neil runs and hides. He has no problem talking to KSX, those God-hating un-American sons of bitches who love and support local corruption, because all they're going to do is they're going to bring up any embarrassing questions about Neil the Tamper and Nelson. No. See, Neil threatens me saying that I can't have a camera if I if he's willing to have a have a uh, discussion with me he's not willing to do it with me having a camera in fact he has to have law enforcement there see that shows what kind of a criminal that Neil is see but the problem is Neil knows that I have gotten elected officials to make criminal confessions right in front of their face on camera. I did it to Tommy. I did it to Randy. I did it to Chris Carp or Chris uh, uh, Chad Larson, Chad the Felon Larson, who's now the the um, Douglas County attorney. Went right into his office with cameras. John Besser and Nikki Besser and I got him to confess to a felony, sending me a weapon in the Todd County Jail. Something that Tommy was trying to say was what propaganda. Jeez, why would Chad the Felon Larson confess to something that was supposedly propaganda? Something that was lies? No. See, the only liars are Tommy, Randy, and of course, our old buddy Neil here. See, one of many liars in lawless Polk County. That's why they have to criminally defame me. That's why they want stalkers coming after me. See, hoping that I'll shut up. It's not going to happen. See, because I have clear, precise, and unquestionable evidence that these people are criminals. There's no reason for me to shut up. See, that's why they're running away from the truth. I'm running toward the truth. They're running away from the truth. They're hiding in the shadows. <laughs> Everything I do is clear and transparent. See? But one thing I want to tell you, though, is, you know, I keep bringing up the fact that Christopher King is a former attorney. He's a former state's attorney general. And that I've, you know, I've got, you know, degrees and stuff like that. 
Okay, that doesn't matter. The fact is that you could do the same thing that Chris King and I am doing. All right? You don't need to be a rocket scientist to do this. All you have to do is ask the embarrassing questions. Get your facts straight. Make some embarrassing phone calls. Ask them these, these hard questions. Where Where is the warrant? You know? Where Where's my exculpatory evidence? Get them on camera. See? Because... I keep on bringing up the example of John Besser. John Besser is a high school dropout. But I'll guarantee you that these elected officials are scared to death of John Besser. Not because he's a big guy, which he is, okay? But because he has the truth on his side, he sticks a camera in their face, and he asks them the embarrassing questions. See? So you don't have to be the smartest guy in the world. Not saying that John isn't smart. He is an intelligent man but he doesn't have the, the degrees. He's a high school dropout. But see, he knows how to expose local corruption. So can you. Call up these criminals and demand some answers. Thank you for your time. Okay, we're gonna show you how to get to Christopher King's uh, video that he just made for me. And if you're at lionnews00.blogspot.com, all you need to do is go down to the bottom of the page here and here are the links to Christopher King's First Amendment page. And then the actual article is that KingCast asks, where is the missing Terry Dean Nemmers arrested Judge Kitt search warrant? And then here's the video, Terry, um, the missing Terry Dean Nemmers search warrant part one. And then I've uh, taken a screenshot of the video and the description, and I'll show you a picture of that here just in a second. Just a quick reminder, kangaroo court session. October 31st, 2011. Okay, and then here's the screenshot of the video, the missing Terry D. Nemmer search warrant, part one. And this is in description. These clowns can't even spell lawful correctly and apparently issued an ex post facto search warrant, but now one from the Brotherhood of Lawyers will step forward to sue the living snot out of Pope County law enforcement for substantive and procedural due process and the local media has feet of clay immobile and scared. I know because I have written them on related issues and they haven't said squat. Okay? So if you uh, click on these links here again, we'll go back to them here real quick. Click on these links. Here's Christopher King's uh, First Amendment page. You can see it says Chris King's First Amendment page right here. There's my video. Now if you click on this link here, It'll take you to this page, which has my video on it again. Okay, but this is a special page made just for that that video. And then if you uh, want to go to Christopher King's uh, YouTube channel, KingCast65, here's the video. And to get to his channel page or my channel page, all you do is click on this uh, little link here, KingCast65. That'll take you to KingCast65's. Uh, video or channel page and um, if you're at my channel page or if you're at one of my videos you click on that same thing and it'll take you to to my channel page all right so anyhow here's Christopher King's video it's in my favorites it's the number one in the favorites so there's four videos from Christopher King here all right so uh, enjoy the videos thank you for your time